Hey there, hey, YouTube, it's Juliet. Um, sorry if you can't hear me, it's raining outside. Um, I thought I would do this video outside, since it's my first open vlog. Um, this is just, uh, basically, um, an intro in the basics of, um, of myself. Uh, what, um, I follow and such, and so you can kind of get an idea of what my videos will be about. Um, I wrote, I typed everything out I wanted to say so I won't forget, so forgive me if I'm looking this way, um, and not directly at you, the camera, or you. Um, when I get to the very end and I mention the Wiccan Read, if you're thinking of taking up the craft, um, or if you need to brush up on it, I will put the link up here when I mention it, not, so don't look up there and go, where's the link? Um, when I mention it, I'll put it up there. So, so the first thing I wanted to talk about is how I came to the realization that I wanted to pick up the craft. Um, I grew up in a strict Christian home. Well, it wasn't really strict, but they're like, be Christian or die. It's, my parents are Christian, my grandparents are Christian. So, that's pretty much all I knew. You know, that was the basic foundation of my home and such. So when I went into high school and I made new friends, they followed the craft. And it was kind of scary because I was always taught that that's bad. It's the devil's work and stuff like that. So I became really interested in the craft. So I did tons and tons of research. It, like... I became a major computer nerd, and I did tons of research on it, and I talked to my friends a lot about it, and how, what they, they, you know, followed, and found out that they were really peaceful, and stuff, and they didn't do what I was told that they do, so once I reached a level of comfort with it, I realized that that's I, what I wanted to follow, and ever since I've, I've been pretty devout. Ooh. Um, how did I know that I wanted to follow Buddhism and Hindu ways? Yes, I realized they have a bunch of, especially the Hindus, they have a bunch of crazy um, things that they follow, but um, I, I'm more of with their peace, their peaceful side, because I'm a peaceful girl. I'm, I'm a pacifist. I do not fight unless I have to. Um, uh, the Buddhist monks and the Hindus, they, they, they're all about reaching enlightenment, and they meditate, and they harm no living creatures. I mean, the Buddhist monks pick up a spider off the ground and put it on a leaf. You know, bugs. They don't touch bugs. They don't kill. Um, I read, I even read once somewhere that they don't even like to blow their nose because it kills germs. I don't remember where I read that, but I did indeed read that somewhere. And that's much like the Wiccan Reed states. Um, and, and ye harm no one, do what ye will. Um, my element is water, even though. My thing is Leo. My zodiac sign is Leo. Sorry about that, guys. My brother came out here. Um. Anyways, do I have a god and a goddess? Yes. My god is Krishna. He's much like the Christian Lord, or God. I mean, um, or how I've read what I from what I've read, he's much like the Christian God. Um, do I have a goddess? No. I don't. Um, she has not called upon me yet. Um, and I'm hoping to find one soon. Uh, how, have I told many people about my religion and do they accept it? My friends and my boyfriend, Mitch, they know. And they're pretty comfortable with it. Um, my family, however, does not know. Because as I stated, they're Christians, and they're the type of Christians that if you don't follow what they believe, they disown you, because they 
as many Christians believe, God is the one true path and the one true Lord. So, but that does not, being raised like that, that does not make me judge other people based on their religions. Um, I'm open to all religions. Whatever you believe, I don't care. As long as you don't shove it on me, I won't shove mine on you. So. Um, do, I want my son to be wicked. Um, I don't care what my son wants to follow. He is his own, when he gets, I mean, he's his own person. When he gets older and he decides what he wants to follow, that's, that's, that's his choice. Um, uh, I will not support necromancy or Satan, Satanism. Um, I think it was that, because that's just, it's not acceptable to me. Uh, I will not accept it. Um, you know. Um, I will gladly drive him to a church if he wants to be Christian. It's not, it doesn't bother me. As I said, I'm, I'm an open person. Um, I celebrate the Sabbaths, yes, but I also celebrate regular holidays with my son and my family, such as Halloween and Christmas and all that good stuff. So, you know, you misconceive that uh, the Wiccan belief consists of sacrificing animals and people and summoning demons to do your work. Um, uh, that is... I, I can't stand that. Do not confuse me with a satanic follower. I'm not satanic. I do not sacrifice anything. I don't sacrifice blood. I don't sacrifice animals. I love animals. I would not kill an animal if my life depended upon it. If someone told me, if someone held a gun to my head and said, kill this animal or I'll take your life, it wouldn't have to kill me. Because <laughs> I can't. It's not in me to kill anything. Um, I don't call upon any spirits or demons. Uh, that shit's crazy and it's scary because that comes with a price, a heavy price. Um, and I don't play with Ouija boards. So that's pretty much the basics there. Um, for an intro to my video, as an intro for my videos. I'm going to end this with advice to beginners that are watching. Um, first, I would suggest you to research like I did. Research, 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 research to your heart's content. So you know what you're doing, you know what you're getting into, and you know you'll be comfortable with it. Um, then, I would start a book of shadows. Um, a book of shadows is just simply a journal that we keep. Um, it can be a, a three ring binder like this one. This is one that me and Britt made last year um, with the sabbats, candle magic, oils, um, gods, goddesses, all that good stuff, you know, and you don't have to basically, you don't have to do what we did. You can do your own thing, you know. Whatever, it's your book of shadows. You put in it what you need to put in it. Put all your research in it. You know, do whatever. Um, memorize the Wiccan Read. Abide by it. Um, everything you send out comes back a few times too. So, if you're going to be the type of person that likes to send out curses or charms for luck or um, signs, uh, it comes back to you times three. And make sure you don't confuse what you practice with black magic. Um, and ye harm none, do what ye will. That basically sums up the Wicked re Read. And as I said earlier, I will put the link to the Wicked Read right here so you can go read it. Um, have a decide on your god and goddess of choice. Um, but again, that'll come from your research and who you, who you feel comfortable you should follow. Um, make sure when you begin, you when you go in, you know whether you're going to be solitary or you're going to work with a coven. 
And you don't have to necessarily work with a coven. You don't have to go out and find other victims that you don't know and be like, hey, yo, can you join me for your coven? Because it doesn't exactly work that way. Um, you can work with a friend or a family member. You necessarily have to be a random coven you know nothing about because they could follow things that you necessarily are comfortable with. Uh, for the most part, I am solitary. Um, but my friend Britt, she helps me with my rituals and things if I'm out of, if I if I don't know exactly what I'm doing, or you know, I need a little backup. And also, the quick shadows come in handy for that if you're sol- if you're a solitary person, if you sol- if you practice solo, is what I'm saying. So that's pretty much everything for this this um blog for intros and basics. My next video, uh, I will cover sabbats like Yule and Salmon. Those are the two common ones that everyone probably knows about. Uh, I'm not doing anything in particular order. I'm just going to randomize everything. So, yeah. Look out for that video. And until then, blessed be.